Using a handheld mobile phone when driving in the UK is illegal. Even if you're waiting at red traffic lights or your engine has cut out using start-stop technology, you cannot hold or use your mobile phone. To do so may land you with six points and a £200 fine, or worse. But that's why we have hands-free phones. Hands-free technology allows you to have a phone conversation whilst driving without breaking the law. It's a safer alternative. Or is it? Increasingly, more and more companies are banning their drivers from making and taking hands-free calls too. Do these companies know something about hands-free calls that we don't? We asked 500 professional van drivers what they thought about hands-free phone calls. Whilst they recognised the dangers of handheld calls, many of our drivers thought it was perfectly acceptable, legal and safe to make hands-free calls. So what is the truth? Well, let's take a look at the top five reasons that our van drivers thought it was okay to make or take hands-free calls and compare their thoughts to what road safety experts think. One of the most obvious reasons for making and taking hands-free calls whilst driving is that it is perfectly legal to do so. You can interact with your phone via voice commands or through the infotainment touchscreen, while some vehicles have buttons on the steering wheel to allow you to take the call. You can even accept calls through your phone's touchscreen, providing it is securely held in the dashboard or window mount. One in five of our van drivers reported that hands-free calls must be safe because it's legal. But does legal mean the same as safe? Well, not always. Let's take an example. This is a single carriageway rural road. It has high hedges and it is impossible to see what might be coming around the next bend. Yet the speed limit is 60 miles an hour on this road. But is this safe? And would you want to do 60 miles an hour? In reality, any law against hands-free calls would be very difficult to enforce. Don't think that just because hands-free calls are legal mean that they're a safe alternative to handheld calls. We know that hands-free calls are dangerous, but we don't have the technology to detect when someone is making a hands-free call in real time. If you were to have a crash, the police can still check with your phone provider whether you were in a call, and even if it was a hands-free call, you can still be charged with driving without due care and attention, or worse. Many people who drive for work think of driving as wasted time. They think that the phone allows you to make better use of that so-called dead time. For example, if you could have hands-free work discussions or meetings whilst driving, then you can make your driving time more productive. However, this point of view is based on the idea that driving is easy. But driving is actually more complex than you think. To demonstrate this, let's see how we take in visual information using these eye-tracking glasses. When we look around the scene, we're only sampling very small areas of the world at any one time. We call these fixations. We really only have very good vision at the exact point where the eyes are, and everything else becomes a bit blurry. However, we build up this image, and we can join all of these little samples together in a very short-term visual memory, which gives us the impression that we are seeing the whole world all of the time. Unfortunately, this process can be easily disrupted. Have you ever given directions to someone over the phone whilst driving? This requires us to use our visual memory to recreate and remember part of the world. Unfortunately, it's the same bit of the brain that we need to stitch together the fragments of what we are currently looking at. If you try and do this whilst driving, you'll find that keeping the car in your lane isn't as easy as you thought. It might seem that driving's easy and some of it positively boring, but there are a lot of processes going on in the brain. If you start doing something else at the same time, you'll find that driving becomes a lot more complex. Many drivers think that hands-free conversations are safe because your eyes are still on the road and your hands are still on the steering wheel. It is of course important to keep your eyes on the road. Experts suggest that a glance away from the road for just two seconds can increase your risk of a crash 24-fold. And if you're scrolling through your contacts, your eyes could be off the road for much, much longer than that. But even if your eyes are on the road and your hands are on the steering wheel, a hands-free call can be just as distracting as a handheld call. Why is this? Well, because your mind is not on the road. Brain scans have shown that we only process so much information at once. Whilst driving, visual information enters the eyes and moves to the back of the brain where it's processed. Visual processing of that information becomes more sophisticated as it moves up the back of the brain. 
before it reaches the strip across the top of the brain that instigates steering behaviour. However, if someone is talking to you at the same time, we get activation in the auditory part of the brain. When this happens, you get a corresponding decrease of activity in the visual processing areas. And when that happens, well, it's no surprise, you get worse at steering and risk a crash. If you've got a passenger in your car, it's natural to have a chat, and no one's going to ban that. Many of the drivers that we asked couldn't see how a hands-free phone call was any more dangerous than talking to someone in the passenger seat. But what do our experts have to say about that? There are several reasons why talking on a hands-free mobile phone is more dangerous than chatting to a passenger sat in the car next to you. One of the most important is the loss of shared visual space. This refers to the fact that the passenger can see everything that the driver can see and is therefore aware of how those demands might be increasing on the road. In a study we found that in a conversation between passenger and driver, the passenger would naturally pause the conversation as the demands on the road increased, allowing the driver to focus on safety. In contrast, the person at the other end of the mobile phone would just keep talking. They weren't aware of those demands increasing. And even if the driver tried to naturally pause the conversation so they could focus on the road, the person on the other end of the mobile phone would then start asking questions such as, are you still there? It's this level of distraction at such a dangerous moment of driving that really brings home the difference between talking on a hands-free mobile phone and just chatting to a passenger. The final argument that our van drivers brought up in favour of hands-free calls is that sometimes they need to take calls relating to work. Drivers may feel pressure to answer these calls, especially ones from the boss. Some believe they have very little choice in the matter and a lack of control over the situation. This pressure may exist even though their company has an explicit ban on hands-free calls. After all, having a company rule doesn't mean that your immediate boss believes in it. In Keir, we have a ban on hands-free calls and the mobile phone must be turned off before you start driving. If your phone is turned off, this removes all temptation to answer it. However, we know that some drivers still feel they have to keep their phone on for important work calls, but this simply is not the case. On long journeys, you should take regular comfort breaks every couple of hours. This gives you a chance to stretch your legs, turn your phone back on and retrieve messages and calls and respond to them as needed. However, if you forget to turn your phone off whilst driving and the phone rings, you must not answer it as it will distract you. We've just looked at five reasons our van drivers felt that they could or should take or make hands-free calls. The evidence is quite clear, however. Hands-free calls are not safe because they take the mind off of the road. They may be legal, but may not stop a charge of driving without due care and attention if you crash whilst on a hands-free call. If your company is progressive enough to ask their employees not to take or make hands-free calls whilst driving, then please do stick to it. Such rules are there to keep you safe, and it shows that your company cares about its employees. However, if your company hasn't yet banned hands-free calls whilst driving, well, maybe they should take a look at this video too.